Hi guys and welcome to today's video where I am going to be doing an update on how my albino leopard geckos got on with using a UVB light for the first time. Now if you want to learn any more about UVB, UVA or the light itself I did a review on it and spoke about all the technicalities of it and I'll leave that link at the end of this video so go check that out. Now Gizmo was pretty much my tester or my guinea pig for the first light and we were trying it out with her. She is 10 years old, it is the first time she is having UVB and she is a wild type in her morph apart from she has high yellow and jungle traits. So um, other than that she's had it for 8 months now and she will full on but like expose her entire body to the light, it does not phase her. So then I wanted to try this with my other gecko. So I have Minnie, who is Gizmo's sister, and Minnie is nine years old. Once again, she's wild type, high yellow and jungle. We have Ziggy, who is four years old. She's a raptor, which is red eyes or ruby eyes, albino, patternless, tremper, orange. And Ziggy and Minnie got their light at the same time, they've had it for nearly four months. And then we have Diego who is also albino, although we don't know what strain of albino because he's from a shop. If you want to learn more about the genetics and why you should not breed an albino that you don't understand their strain, um, check out my breeding and genetics video. And Diego's had his light for three months now and he is five years old. Now, just like Gizmo, when the light was first put in, they didn't really expose themselves to it at all. It was kind of weird to them, and I had to gradually increase the time the light was on just to get them used to it. However, we've had some surprising results. And over, especially the last month or two, I have noticed that Diego and Ziggy will both expose little parts of their body to the light, which is completely normal and what you're looking for so a bit of the tail maybe a bit of the foot and even sometimes I've seen Ziggy fall asleep with her head in the light and it hasn't phased her. Another thing I've seen is sometimes they will lay completely out but behind their hide and that is still lit up a bit by the UVB and basically what will happen is the light will bounce off the wall and back down to the entrance of the other side of their uh, hide if you get what I mean and because the UVBs had to travel even further it's probably weaker so they can expose their whole body it won't be as harsh as near the front of the hide if you get what I mean so overall with the albinos it's gone very well and I'm really surprised and even the other day I the light came on and Diego was on top of his hide and I thought, okay, the light's just come on, he's probably going to move. An hour later, I went up and checked him again, and he was still asleep on there. I mean, he saw me when I took this photo, as you can see. But he actually exposed his entire body, which I thought was amazing. But overall, the albinos are doing really well. And one thing I will say is, obviously we spoke about brumation before, so the geckos could go off their food. And one really annoying thing when they're not eating is when you have to use synthetic vitamins like D3 it's worrying how to get that in their body like how are we going to get it if they're not eating whereas this way with the light and everything they can just do it themselves they know what they need and Diego will either expose a bit of his body or just go out of it he just he knows what he wants however a surprising result is Minnie so Minnie as I said is Gizmo's sister she is a wild type and since Gizmo's got on so well with the light, you'd think she would have no problem either. And actually, she's the only gecko that I never see expose themselves to the light. Now, I imagine there's a tiny, tiny bit of light that ex like goes into the cave. But it, every time the UVB has to travel, it gets weaker and weaker. Um, especially the further it has to, and every time it bounces off of things. So she's probably only getting a tiny amount. So that is the only concern. It's quite surprising, really. But besides that, um, if you are concerned about how your albino may react to UVB, as long as you don't have something that's overly powerful, like this is why I really love the Arcadia UVB kit that I'm using because actually it's pretty much made for leopard geckos and I just wish it was more available to so many more of you because I know there are loads of you in America that want to use it. And although I have set, like left a link in the description to one of the suppliers that are meant to sell it, it seems like they're not getting it so much or just for some reason they're not as available, which really sucks. Um, 
but if you look for something that's between two to five percent UVB, especially the you know the tube lightings, they tend to be the best ones. And yeah, I it's just made things so much easier. I don't have to worry about the supplement schedule so much because I use the Earth Pro A, which I also did a review on. And it's very, very simple, and it's nice to see them self-regulate. So yes, that is the update on the geckos on how they're getting along with the light. I hope you've enjoyed some footage of very cute, sleepy geckos, and thank you very much for watching.